When flooding rains fall, complaints just pour into the Oklahoma Corporation Commission. People reporting water contaminated fuel from gas stations. Two works for you problem solver Pekin Newson explains the risk to your vehicle. Early on Mother's Day afternoon, with his wife and three year old twins along for the ride, Matt Irwin stopped at this station along Highway 75 in Glenpool. Ironically, because it offered 100% gas, what he got was a lot of water. My you know, brand new car could have a, a completely ruined engine. After filling up, Matt says his $45,000 vehicle would die out every time he tried to start it. So he filled a bottle with some of the gas he had just pumped. Murky, he says, compared to the pure gas seen here in the smaller bottle. Even though the pumps were open, the store itself was closed and the phone number to it disconnected. Finally, Matt called a tow truck to have his vehicle moved to the dealer for repairs. And the more mechanics check it out, the more expensive it gets. We're looking at, you know, a couple of thousand dollars and still counting. A spokesperson for the Corporation Commission says an inspector found water contaminating the fuel in some of the underground tanks at the Glenpool Shell Station, which is independently owned. And now, even before he knows how many thousands of bucks he'll be out to get his vehicle repaired, Matt's working to find out who to send the bill to. But I'm going to continue to pursue it until um, you know somebody pays for the damages that were done to my vehicle. I talked to a gentleman who says he's the owner of the station. He says he'll take care of every customer who bought contaminated gas. So far, he knows of two complaints, including Matt's. If you find yourself breaking down after filling up, contact the gas station or store immediately. Each has its own policy about verifying any damage and filing a claim. And be sure to report the problem to the Corporation Commission pronto. An inspection report can help prove your claim. We have information on how to file a complaint on our Two Works For You app and on KJRH.com. Pete Knutson, 2 News Works For You.